This story is pretty cool. Yeah. So in 2004, I'm with the Vikings. I have a good year. I think I missed two field goals all year. So I'm thinking I might be back with the Vikings. I might not, but I'm, you know, wife and kids are in Atlanta. Let me see if I can get Atlanta to bite, you know. Let me see if I can sell myself on them. So I'm here in 2005 in Atlanta. I start training. Basically, would start in March. Now, I wouldn't put foot to ball until June 1st, and there was a reason for that. You, you can kick yourself out in the off season. Mm-hmm. Really? I did But that. I would do yeah. – you did that? Yeah, <laughs> I can't kick 50-yard field goals anymore. <laughs> Too many kicks. Yeah. Foot to well, ball, should yeah, have, June You should have listened. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You listened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was functional training, guys, so I was doing everything but foot to ball. Um, so I would functional train March, March, April, June. I'm thinking the phone's going to ring right away. Phone doesn't ring. It doesn't ring for two months. It doesn't ring for 20 months. So now 2005, I don't play, and I'm sitting there, and the guys are missing left and right. I can't, I can't believe I can't get a call. But I'm ready. You know, I'm ready just in case somebody calls and say, hey, come in and, 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 and do the thing. So now we're in 2006. I'm a year older. I'm 46 now. I'm sitting in my basement with my n- neighbor, Eric, and we're, we're watching this, the Falcons play the, the Bucks. The guy from the Falcons is having a really shitty day. He missed four field goals inside of 40 yards. I turned to Eric at that point, my neighbor, and I said, hey, I'm switching to water. <laughs> uh, he goes, why, man? I go, the phone's going to ring in 20 minutes after this game is over. And he said, bullshit. It hasn't rang in 20 months. Yeah. I said, all right, we'll see. And the f- fucking phone rang. <laughs> it rang. <laughs> right after the game? Hey, man, can you come in tomorrow at 9 o'clock for a workout? I said, how about, you know, I'm buying myself time because I got to get hydrated. So mm-hmm. I said, well, how about 2 o'clock? He said, all right, 2 o'clock. So I think it's it's just me, and they want to see if the leg's still attached to the hip. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's not. It's me and four flat bellies, half my age. Now I'm 46. These <laughs> guys, are, well, that's what you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I like that. That's a great phrase. Yeah, yeah. They're 23, mm-hmm. 22, right out of college. I'm 46, and I've been grinding 20 months in a public park. Now let me set the stage in the humility that I was going through for those 20 months. Mm-hmm. Imagine wearing your Pro Bowl jersey, and I had seven of them at that time, to a public park. I had Kenny Stabler's shoulder pads. I had a Saints helmet. I had, uh, you know, Giants pants from 2001 when I was with the Giants. Because I always practiced like I wanted to play. Wear the, sh- wear the shit you're going to wear in the yeah. game. Wear it and practice. So I'm out at Perkle pa- at not at Perkle, at George Pierce Park in this outfit. And I would have to defer the field to the little leaguers and their parents <laughs> when they needed the field. Uh-huh. I would have to bribe the county workers to cut the grass. Unreal. So that's that was my mentality for 20 months. All right? That's the backstory on it. So back to the call from the Falcons. Now, I'm ready. I'm totally ready to go and very motivated. By the way, I'm 77 points away from becoming the all-time leading scorer in the history of the game. Mm-hmm. Nice little carrot, too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I go out there at 2 o'clock for the workout, and here are these four flat bellies, half my age, and it's mano a mano. And we hit 15 balls, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and back in. There was an orange stripe on the net between the uprights. It signals the middle. I always like the middle. Why? It never changes. Good point. Hit 14 out of 15 on the stripe. The 15th kind of grazed. But goes through. Goes through. So I'm 15. I feel pretty good. So I turn around, and everybody's standing there. Coach Moore is standing there. Uh, Rich McKay, a bunch of scouts, and the, I could see the four flat bellies kind of got discouraged, exit right. Yep. And I felt good. I turned around and said, questions, anyone? <laughs> and my special teams coach, George uh, D. Camillus, uh, Joe Camillus goes, yeah, I have one question, black or blue ink? <laughs> <laughs> love it. I, I love it. Black ink. I signed a one-year deal for the minimum. Uh-huh. And three months later in the Georgia Dome on, I think, middle of December against the Cowboys, I kicked a, what at the time was just an extra point, but very meaningful, that that allowed me to become the all-time leading scorer in the history of the game. Yeah, incredible. That's awesome. I mean, just the so, visual of you being out there, pro football Hall of Famer, obviously you're not a Hall of Famer yet, but people know you're a legend at a public park. But kicking field goals, bribing county workers, it's unbelievable. But the juice, you know, the whole thing was... Hey, 
what if I had, it could have been a shit show, right? Because if I had not prepared myself in those 20 months, now I get a chance. Now it's embarrassing. Could you imagine a field day you guys would have had on my behalf? Right. Right. Yeah. If I'm all over the place. Right. But I, you know, I went in there, I was ready to go. Uh huh. And, and, and got it done. So the satisfaction was, was really, I mean, big. So you spent all this time training to get back because you had some goals you wanted to hit, obviously. But I have to also think that if you're willing to dedicate 20 months of training without getting a call, there's something that you actually like about stepping out onto a field and kicking a ball and watching it go through the uprights. So, right, that, that's got to be satisfaction for you. Correct. But much more deeper than that, man, is that... The, the human like the human element of improvement how do you improve more than than normal your back has to be against the wall it's not when your hands are above your head everything's going fucking great that's not when you're getting it done it's when you're down man and every, nobody believes in you mm -hmm. i like that in the military we call it the world of suck mm -hmm. okay the world of suck you got to embrace yeah you guys do radio you do a really good job i think Thank you. I'm a fan. Appreciate we, we it. We do fans. embrace the suck on this show. Yeah, yeah. You embrace the suck sometimes because you run out of questions. Now what? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I you only have one more. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. be okay. But, yeah, but yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. you might have run into a guest, and I've, you know, I got a couple in mind maybe that <laughs> you can relate to. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, yes. No names yes, need to be yes, mentioned. Yes. Yes. Dak Prescott. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Marina. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, and you just gotta, you gotta turn you gotta into it sometimes. You gotta yeah. embrace the suck. You gotta embrace the suck and yeah. just uh, curl the toes, man, and go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah.